Hey, welcome to another episode of Don't Be a Wimp 101. Today we're going to learn how to use leftover potatoes. You know how you buy the big bag of potatoes because you could save money? And then all of a sudden you're like, after three days they start to grow eyes on them. And you're like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to use all these potatoes. There's like 15 potatoes left. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to show you what you can do with those potatoes so you don't have to throw them out. Same thing goes for apples or anything else you have in bulk. You can use all of it and you can make things out of it, put it in the freezer and have it later, okay? If you've got a big family, you can just feed it to them, but obviously you must have a small family because they're not eating it, right? Or you're not getting around to it. Today what we're going to do is, I have peeled the potatoes. There was probably about... I don't know, eight potatoes with eyes on them, and I peeled them, well first I cooked them, then I peeled them, stuck them in a blender, and made like mashed potato thing for them. The next thing I did was, I got some chives, I grow chives in a garden inside the house, you can do that, just get yourself a pot, throw some chive seeds in there, read up, you know, the temperatures and that, so I got it in like a tent, I'm growing it inside. Some onions, you're going to chop these onions up, and some garlic, you're going to chop that up too. But first of all, before we do anything, we're going to need music, right? And I have got the coolest CD. I know that a lot of you people that have been watching my channel lately are from Russia. Well, here is a really cool punk band from Sweden. Yes, Sweden. You know, they have the best hackers in Sweden, too, by the way. Not only the best punk rockers, but the best hackers. So, this is group is called Smash It Up. I personally know Crossler and this guy here, Zvoinko, and I know the Zvoinko, and I know the drummer. They're really cool. What is awesome about this is they got a CD and they have a lyric sheet. So when you're when you're singing the songs, ta da you can sing the lyrics too. Like you can sing right along with it like woo you know. Yeah, you know. Anyway, these guys are awesome. Look at the art. The art is really nice. So the group is called Smash It Up and just Google them. Put it on YouTube. Put in, you know, smash it up. Anyway, I'll put some links below on mine. And you can see how to order the CDs. And you can order a really cool t-shirt. I don't have my t-shirt on, but you can see the t-shirt on my website. Maybe. Alright. Let me see. I'm going to play some music now. But you're not going to hear the whole song. Let's see what we got. So, throw a little bit of salt in there. That's good. Put some parsley in there. Alright. You don't have to follow some kind of recipe, just put it in there. You're out of it. You're looking here. Don't you don't turn it on right now. But anyway. That's a good song, right? But I'm not going to play the whole thing. You know why? Because if I play the whole thing, you're going to copy it and you're not going to buy the CD. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That was your preview. Now here's a preview of your second song. Woohoo! Wouldn't you just love to go to Sweden and see this show? been there. Sweden's awesome. And the people are so cool. Slice up your onions. You gotta have your music on when you cook, right? Because 
Nah. It's boring without. Going down, 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 but don't be hacking the music. Pay for it. Unless you hack it and spread it around and get a lot of other people to pay for it. That'd be cool. It's a good way to get the music out there, yeah? Just chop this stuff up. Alright, so we will do another song. Chop, let's see, put this on. Spray some cooking oil. too much, you know, well, if you've got, like, oil like this, you can put that there, margin, margarine, whatever you got. Just something so your, your stuff isn't going to stick to the pan. So we got some chives. They look like grass, but they taste like onions and garlic. That's pretty cool. You chop those up. These are like some of the last original punk rockers left. That's right. And you're missing out, man. I know a lot of you people want to be puffers, and you can. Doesn't matter if you're young or you're older. It's like your heart, the music, you know? So, chuck your onions in there, cook them up. Put the flame on. Next one. Track four. Hey, Joey! Joey Ramone. From the Ramones. Chop those onions up. Cook them. You're gonna make them soft. You're probably like, what are you making? It's kind of simple. You're just making like a potato pancake. Everybody makes them different. You can make them any way you want. You can put any kind of spice you want in there. You know, I just choose simple stuff like salt, parsley, chives, onions. Very simple. Because, well, you know, that's stuff that you normally really have, right? You can get fancy with it. You can make it into a real fancy meal. So. I do not, I got a bowl like this. A little mixy in here. This is what I use as my mixing bowl. It's a pan. That works, right? And you want to put something that's going to have your potato pancakes stick together. So you're going to need something. You can use a non-egg type thing. They have this thing called, it's like this egg substitute stuff. 
I use eggs right now. I'm gonna turn this for a little bit. I love that music. All right. So I'm gonna use an egg. Some people that are vegan, they don't believe in using eggs and stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. You don't gotta use eggs. You can, you can use whatever you can use for a binding agent. I just don't use the egg yolks in these. You might say, well, that's really wasteful. Yeah, it is wasteful. But if you got a cholesterol problem, you don't need to be eating those egg yolks. You probably don't even know. It's not a good idea. So, you just crack it open. Get the, the white of the egg in there. You want to have to be able to mash the stuff up with your hands. I mean, we cook with our hands around here. Make sure your hands are washed good and clean, you know? You can get salmonella and stuff from an egg. So we don't need to do that, right? I'm figuring this is going to need like maybe four egg whites in it, four or five. The egg whites are fine. You get a good source of protein and you don't get the cholesterol. They actually say that people who are vegetarians live even longer than people who are not vegetarians. And a lot of vegetarians eat eggs and drink milk. But, you know, that's just statistics anyway. Everybody has their own way of eating. Some people think it's cruel. It is cruel, I guess. I, mean, I, I don't like the way they treat the chickens and stuff. But if that's all you got to eat, and you don't have all this fruit and vegetables and stuff like that, like some of these vegan people, then you eat what you have to eat. I guarantee you. You get one of those vegan people starving to where they don't have anything to eat, we'll let them wait long enough. They'll eat it. You know? They cry and scream about how they're not going to hurt any animals. And I'll tell you what, man, as soon as they get hungry enough, they're going to be shoveling that food right in their mouth. They've just never been hungry enough, right? They're not going to starve to death over it. Can you pull your onions in there? Yeah. You can make a meat eater out of a vegan in about a couple of weeks if they haven't ate. Maybe. Some are a little harder, I guess. So, get rid of your stuff here. Oh, hey, you can't be listening to all that song. It's not your song. You didn't pay for it. That's right. You didn't pay for that song. You're not going to hear the whole thing. I, I didn't know your tricks. Trying to get three songs off and smash it up. Ain't happening. Nope. So here we go. Spray a little more. Oh, listen to that song. Turn it on really low, super low. You see what you got in here? You got egg yolk, onion, spices, and your mashed potatoes, your cooked mashed type potatoes. And you're smashing up CD. So this, I mean, I want to put my hands in it, but then I won't be able to, I'm going to do it. It. All right, you just mix it around, mix it up, mix it up really fast. All right, mix this stuff up really good. Smash it with your fingers. Ooh. Nice song, eh? 
was so surprised that I had a bunch of Russian followers. That was so cool. You guys would absolutely love this band. You should go to Sweden and check them out. They're, they're gangster, man. But not like bad gangster. Like cool gangster. Gangster, you know, gangster can mean a lot of things. In American vernacular, gangster can mean like, yo, that's cool. Or gangster can mean like, shoot him up kind of gangster, right? Or it can mean like a certain kind of style or something. Ooh, gotta turn this on. Alright, so. You grab these and you make them into little pancake type deals. Put them on there. Make them a little bit more. Put it on. Make sure your heat's on low, because you want them to cook really slow. Okay? Grab a little more. And make sure that you do some head banging with it. Alright. So I got like five of them going there. I'm going to make like five more. So that's really all it is. It's that simple. You cook it till it gets brown on both sides and to where it's, you know, cooked in the middle. You flip it, flip it from one side, it's brown on one side, flip it over. I like to cover my cook and keep it, you know, cooking slow so it cooks better. Rinse your hands off. Got my sink right here. You don't want to have the egg on your hand. So you put the lid on, that's simple, that's simple. So I will put a link to smash it up at the bottom of my, like my video, all right? These guys are off. So don't be a whip, but hold on. No, you need to get it. There are actually 12 tracks on this CD. Oh, I love this song. This is called Billy and Rudy. Let's prevent Rebel, Rebel. Lost in a haze. Daddy, innocent. Cut up his face. Cut up his face. So, we're cooking it over here. It's going to take a while. But you got the point, right? You cook it slowly. You see what's happening here. I'll show you. Let's get it close up. Come on over here. So that's what it looks like cooking. And then you just let it cook on one side. And then when it's done, you know, you scoop it under and flip it over like a pancake. It's not hard, right? It's pretty cool. Anyway, I just want to tell you, don't be a wimp. Love you guys out there. I'm really enjoying having you guys from Russia being my new fans. Pretty cool. Alright, don't be a whip 101. Take care. Mm -hmm.